In problem number five here, we're looking at the number of births. They were counted each month in a certain city, and the results are given in the table here. We want to test the hypothesis that the births are equally likely to occur in any month. We're going to use the alpha is 0.01 significance level and the p-value method with the TI-84 plus calculator. So first we want to set up uh, the null and alternative hypothesis. So the um, we're testing here to see if they're equally likely. So that's going to be our null hypothesis is that uh, proportion 1 is equal to proportion 2 is equal to all the way down to proportion 12. And if they're all equally likely, these will all equal 1 12th because 12 months in a year. So 1 12th of the births, that fraction or proportion in each month. Uh, the alternative hypothesis is going to be that either some or all of the actual probabilities differ from those specified in the null hypothesis. So th this is trying to see if the proportions or the distribution of the data fits uh, this uh, uniform distribution. So this is going to be a chi-squared goodness of fit test. So the goodness of fit test is testing to fit a distribution. So when you do a uh, chi-squared uh, GOF goodness of fit, that's trying to see if you uh, fit a distribution. The other chi-squared test is the test of independence, and it'll say, perform a test of independence. So here, though, we're given a distribution. There's I'm not saying anything about independent or not independent. So we've got our uh, null and alternative. Uh, step B here, go ahead and find our p-value. Uh, we're going to round our answer to at least four decimal places. So we're using the, uh, the calculator for this. We have to first calculate our expected frequencies, which are going to be n, which is the total number of births, times uh, p sub i. Now, if you add up all of these values here, you get 470. So that's our n. And then p sub i is 1 12th. So the proportion that we're testing against each month. And 470 times 1 12th is 39.25. Do the calculator work there. So we're trying to test and see, we would expect, if the null hypothesis is true, that all of these numbers would be 39.25. Those are the expected frequencies. So we're going to enter our observed frequencies in list 1 in the calculator and the expected frequencies in list 2. So I've already done that. So let's go to the calculator. So we are going to go to stat and then edit. And you can see in list one, I've got the observed frequencies. That's this data here. And then in list two, they're all 39.25, which was our expected frequency here. It's the same for every month because we're testing to see if all the proportions are the same. So then we're going to select stat, test, chi-squared goodness of fit, and then we need, uh, there are 12 months or 12 proportions, uh, so 12 minus 1 is 11 degrees of freedom, and then we'll hit calculate. So stat, tests, and then scroll down to goodness of fit, which is letter D, enter. We can see list 1, list 2, need to change our degrees of freedom to 11. Come down to calculate and enter. And here we see our chi-squared test statistic is 29.917 and our p-value 0.0016. So 29.92, p-value 0.0016. So we've calculated our p-value here. And now we want to go, go ahead and determine whether we reject H0, reject the null hypothesis. Well, we're using the 0.01 level of significance. So our p-value here is 0.0016. And that is less than 0.01, which is our alpha. 
if p is less than alpha, you are going to reject the null hypothesis. So we'll reject H0. So remember your p value is measuring how extreme your sample is. And so this is saying that our sample here is too extreme to be due to chance. There has to be something going on here. So if we reject H0, then if we go back up here to the top, um, our H0 is that proportions are all the same. We reject that. We're going to conclude that H1 is true. So at least, um, at least two of the probabilities have to differ from 112. So our conclusion is that there is enough evidence to conclude that the births are not equally likely. So at least two of the probabilities differ uh, from each other. They're not all 112. So that one goes pretty quickly on the calculator.